After a while, one of the HH2 has finally made it to a stable territory. So let's see what has changed from the previous version. Firstly, while booting up the PC, the loading ring looks a little fancy. Then the UI of the accessibility dialog has been finally redesigned. Now you can also customize the start menu to have more pinned apps or more recommendations. I prefer more pinned apps. Then you can also create folders on the start menu, a great feature for all the productivity things up. Now you can also drag and drop stuff to the taskbar. This is a feature that I missed in the first version of Windows 11. There's also a new feature called Focus Assist, which helps you relax for a little bit by creating a focus session. This feature can be accessed from the notification center. And there's also a part of the new Enhanced Clock app, which looks pretty sick to be honest. So you might know about the Spotlight Lock Screen Background feature. Well now, it can be used as a desktop background too. And there's this new accessibility feature called Wise Access. This can be used to control your PC with your voice. And there's yet another accessibility feature called Live Captions. This feature just basically creates closed captions according to the content that you're watching. When you wiggle around a window, a tiny bar appears on the top of the screen. If you drag the window closer to the bar, a new snap layout will appear, from which you can snap your window to random places on your screen. The task manager has been redesigned too. It changed its theme according to the theme that you applied on your system settings. It also has a much better graphical user interface that matches up with Windows 11. Two features are delayed to October. The first one is the Suggested Actions feature that appears when copying dates or numbers. And the second feature is Tabs on File Explorer, which the Windows community has very curiously awaited. In the File Explorer, the Quick Access panel is now called Home, and inside of it, there are three rows. The first row is used to show the pinned folders, the second row is to see all your pinned files, and finally, the third row shows all your recently opened files, which is also synced with OneDrive, by the way. Speaking of OneDrive, when you're browsing through your OneDrive folders in File Explorer, a tiny icon will appear on the top left corner. When you click the icon, you can look at your OneDrive sync status and other stuff like that. Anyways guys, that's all for today's video. So if you like what you saw, please hit that like button and get subscribed to my channel by clicking here. Or watch the video where I show you how to make your Windows 11 experience even better by clicking here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye!